Hey y'all, welcome back to Leslie's Mature Makeup and Beauty. Today we're going to do a full face of Essence. Some of these products I've tried before, but others I've never tried. And they're, we, I say full face, it's mostly a full face. There are a couple of products that I didn't pick up because I have, you know, like loose powder from other brands that I recently just purchased a couple. Setting spray, primer, you know, those are not things that I use every single day, so I didn't want to waste money. But we're going to start with our eyes and i wanted to try one of their essences larger palettes but the one that i was looking at was out of stock so i just picked up i like to mauve it in the their new little six pan palettes because these are the, the two that i've previously used were beautiful and that's what it looks like three mattes and three shimmers i swatched them and you can see this in the pan this looks a little more gray but on my hand it's coming off well, it doesn't really look like it on camera. It looks a little more gray, but it looks a little blue. But these shimmers are just silky smooth. Love them. And I did not get an eye primer, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids with the... Uh, I think I used my Urban Decay Primer Potion today because I couldn't find my NYX one that I've been liking. But we're going to start out with our eyes, and I'm going to do... I'm going to take this lighter shade up in the corner here. It's called move it and i'm going to put that all over my lid just as kind of a base to get us started and it has a little bit of a mauvey tone to it and there is a little kick up in the pan but i don't mind that the most expensive thing that i have here today is the foundation and that was a whopping 6.99 it's the um, Pretty Natural, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Urban Decay Hydromaniac. But I think I prefer the Essence to the Urban Decay. Um, I feel like the Urban Decay one really made my pores and stuff look a lot worse. But I'm thinking about doing a... Um, I'm going to go in my crease with this shade here in the corner. It is called Yeah Nice. Or maybe Yeah Nice. But I'm going to retry some stuff. I've got some stuff that I didn't really like the first time I tried. So I thought I would do a video maybe, you know, retrying stuff I hated. Or stuff I can't remember how I liked it. Um, you know, I have hooded eyes. So I'm going to go, you know, above my crease here. Chin up. Look down into my mirror and put this where I want it. And just kind of start making a new crease, basically. And I'm just using a little Real Techniques shadow brush it's kind of a small fluffy brush I wish real techniques would come out with some more eye brushes I have several brushes from them that I really enjoy and I'm gonna raise my brows and take this just a little lower into the crease here and with hooded eyes I think I've probably said this before but ever so often you want to look straight into your mirror and make sure you've got enough of that showing you want to show off your work and my right eye is a little droopier than the left so I always struggle with this one just a little more than my left eye I don't, does everybody have a good eye and a bad eye y'all let me know it's finally started cooling off here a little bit, so I'm super excited about that. I do have a um, couple of palettes that I may try to do a little fall look. Which I don't always change what I'm doing. Really, when I sit down to do my makeup, I just kind of put on whatever I want color-wise. Or try to... do something that will match you know whatever top I'm wearing it's a really pretty color nice and mauvey and it blends super easy applies super easy and I'm gonna go I'm gonna try this grayish looking shade in the outer corner and see how it does it's called catching and I don't know about y'all but all these 
palettes have kind of um, song theme names. So all I can hear in my head is I like to move it, move it from that. What movie is that? Madagascar. I'm just going to use this same brush. I'm just going to clean it off on my Sigma switch here because I need to wash my brushes. It's one of my least favorite things to do. And we're going to see how this works out in that outer corner. And I am tapping off my brush. I just tap it off on my hand so it doesn't make such a racket and you don't damage your brushes. And I'm just going to pat a little bit here and see. Start slow and build it up. You can always add more, but you can't really take it away. Once it's there, it's pretty much there. Yeah, that is giving me more of a blue vibe. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it looks a little, a little blue. But what I may do is take this deeper shimmer and put out there. I usually do a matte something in my outer in my outer corner, but there are no rules. We can do what we want. And then these shadows are super easy to work with. I think these little palettes would be great if you've got somebody who's just getting into makeup. You know, it wouldn't wouldn't cost you an arm and a leg. They're easy to work with. And with there only being six shades in the pan, you know, you don't have to think real hard about what you're going to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this deep purple shimmer in the center in the top here called Fantastic. Yeah, I think I'm going to try that on the outer corner. Kind of layer that up and see what that gives us. I can find a clean shader brush here. Yeah, this one looks good. We'll wipe her off just to be sure. And I'm just going to start by tapping. Just pat gently. And I generally like to apply shimmer shades with my finger. I find I get less fallout that way and you really get more payoff. tapping and patting just to try to deepen that up a little bit and I'm going to take just a little bit on the tip of my brush and drag into that crease just to give us a little bit of more depth in that area I was going to try to do another favorites video for September, but I didn't try a ton this month, so I don't feel like I have a, I mean, I have some, some really nice things that I did try, or the past month, this is October, but, so I may wait till the end of October before I do another favorites. Not sure how I'm feeling about that. Let's do a little bit of light blending everywhere. I'm going to take that brush that I used to start with and just kind of blend around the edges. Just soften everything up. And hopefully it will stay not raining outside and I'll, when I get finished we'll go outside and look at everything in natural light because I think it really you can really see especially like the foundation and you know everything kind of shows up better I think in natural light. All right, I think I'm going to leave that there for now and then I'm going to take ooh which one which one. 
I think I'm going to take this lighter purple shimmer and put that on my mobile lid just with my ring finger. It's super, super, super pretty. And like I said, these shimmers are so soft and creamy feeling. I mean, it feels like a higher end shimmer. Do a shadow liner, which I like to do that anyway. Just use an eyeshadow for liner. It seems to a lot of times even if I put on an eyeliner I like to go over it with a little bit of shadow just to soften it up and make it look a little just a little softer I'm gonna clean that edge up just a little and I do have a good bit of fallout here from that shimmer which I don't mind a little fallout it's fine I can that's why I like to do my eyes first and I can always clean that up. I mean, I find even high-end palettes, you get fallout, especially from deeper shades or shimmer shades. So, but let's do a little, we'll do a little liner on the top. But this is just kind of a little angled brush. I'm just going to go right next to that lash line. Like I said, this is that Coral Me Maybe, just using that deep brown. I'm excited to try the mascara. I've never, I know Essence mascaras are super popular, but I have never tried one. I'm always a little leery about trying a new mascara. I tend to have a problem with them um, smudging and flaking and just mascara in general, not necessarily. Like I said, I haven't tried any from Essence. But I know they're super popular, so... I'm excited to try those. And I think the green one, I feel like everybody talks about the one in the green packaging, but I got the purple one because I love purple and I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to try. So we're going to go in with foundation next. This is the Essence Pretty Natural. I have used this before. It actually wears really well and it looks, it looks pretty on the skin. And like I said, I think I prefer it to the that Urban Decay Hydromaniac that I haven't tried them side by side to see if they're actually dupes, but I know I've seen several several videos that claim, and it's just a squeezy tube. So I'm going to squeeze out a little on my palette here, and I think the reason I haven't used this often, I think the shade I got is just a little bit on the light side, but it's a pretty liquidy consistency. You can see it kind of running down the palette there. And I'm just going to take a bit and we'll, yeah, that may be a little lot. But I'm thinking as we get some cooler weather, I should lighten up a little bit. I'm just going to use my Stands Out sponge. It's been my go-to. And I just want to thank all of y'all who have left me comments on my videos. Y'all have been so sweet I really appreciate it I know a lot of times on the internet you people can be kinda kinda mean but you guys have been so sweet and I appreciate it which I know you know as your channel grows a lot of times you're gonna there's always gonna be somebody who's gonna have something maybe not super nice to say but I'm old and I don't care anymore, but I just really appreciate all y'all who have been so sweet. And I think this is a pretty light coverage. You know, it's not 
I don't think it gives me quite a medium but I think it's got a pretty finish it's not super glowy but it's not matte either it's more of a more of a natural type finish I think all right I think we'll leave that there and we'll go ahead and finish up under the eyes and get some mascara on and it is a little bit later in the day I don't know if I'll be able to check in um, but if I can't which I know these eyeshadows wear well the foundation does good I'll update the description box on the mascara or something when I get you know if I have any issues or anything and I know mascara is one of those things that's like super same well I guess all makeup really is super personal depending on what you like but I feel like what works good for one may or may not work good for the other I'm just gonna take this kind of lighter mauve shade that we put in the crease and put that on the lower lash line I love these shades these mauve purpley tones and I like a cool toned shadow and I think I may take a little of that purple shimmer and put kind of on the inside portion of this lower lash line such a pretty 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 purple these shadows are just so easy to work with you know like compared to that Natasha Denona palette these are just super super user friendly and I think I'll take that lightest shade that I did all over the lid I'm going to take just a bit of that and work over this edge up here just to soften that so I don't have a harsh line there loving it loving it so next we're going to move on to mascara and i picked up the lash princess in the sculpted volume mascara my lashes are pretty long so i do like something that gives me some volume And the packaging is super cute too. You can't go wrong with cute packaging. And this one does have a little bit of a curved wand, which I like. I feel like I can really hug the base of my lashes and get every little lash coated. Oh, and I've been using that ColourPop. Um, now I say um a lot. I don't know what to do about it. That Act Natural mascara that I got in the mystery box, and I've really been enjoying it. Now, it is a very natural looking formula, but for like an everyday, no makeup, makeup top look, I've really been enjoying it. All right, that's just one coat. I always feel like I look super crazy when I look up into the camera like that, but we'll go in with another coat and see how this 
layers up. This is not a super wet formula. So hopefully it doesn't dry out too quick. I think it is giving some volume though. So far I like the way it looks. And that's two coats. I did get a little on my eye. We'll clean that off when it dries. Yeah, I like the way that's looking. That's quite pretty. Hopefully it doesn't flake or smudge. And it's not getting clumpy as I build it up. No, I bet it would be even prettier with a lash primer. You know, that kind of helps volumize your lashes. We'll do just a little on the bottom here. I have made an absolute mess. I do have a couple of wild lashes. I'm going to try to get the clean the mascara off of those. I attempted to curl them, but it didn't really. It's like it curls everything around it, but not the actual lash that I need to get back in its place. I'm liking that. Like I said, that is three coats, but I think it's very pretty. See if we can get the smudge off so I don't forget it. And then for brows, I picked up this Essence Make Me Brow. Never tried it. It's one of, I think it's got, um, I opened it up earlier, little fibers. I'm going to comb through my brows before we put this on. Because I'm about due for another color. But it's got like a little... You know, like a little baby mascara wand. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of got, it's not really focusing on it, little tiny fibers. I'm going to wipe off some of the excess. I don't want to go in too heavy. I recently tried a brow product similar to this from the Ulta Beauty brand, and I really liked it. You know, it makes the brows, it gives them a little color and kind of fluffs them up and I believe I got the color soft brown which may be a little on the light side It's a pretty wet formula. I think the color is okay. I don't feel like this one is doing quite as much for me as the one from Ulta, but we'll we'll see how this dries down 
and see if it actually holds my brows in place because mine tend to want to flop back down and I don't I think maybe the color might be a little light for me too soft brownie brows is the color that I picked up so we'll see how that goes but super easy to use and I don't always use a brow pencil I just like to if I've freshly colored my brows a lot of times I'll just do like a clear brow gel or a uh, my Beauty Bay brow wax Now I'm super excited for this next one. I got the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and this thing is huge. And I got the, the deeper skin, but it looks pretty cool toned, and it didn't look super deep, so. It smells a little coconutty, but almost like weirdly fake coconutty. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And I've never, like I said, I've never tried this before, so we'll. That does not have a mirror in it. I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of color. Let's see if maybe I try a little more dense brush because that's not really doing. Yeah, as you can see, it's pretty light. And this was the one for deeper skin. So if you have a deeper skin tone, I don't know. But let's try this little more dense brush and see if we can get some more payoff with that. Yeah, that's giving me a little more color. But like I said, I think if you have a deeper skin tone, my skin tone is not all that deep. I don't know that this would. Work well for you. And they may have deeper colors on their website, but. This one is it says deeper skin, so. Because I purchased everything from Ulta's website. I had some. I just like to be able to earn points. And I had some points to use. Yeah, this is not really. It's not really giving me a ton. I mean, it's, it's, there's a little pigment there. But it's not a lot. Y'all know I like a little on the nose. So far, that's not my favorite, and it's, it kind of looks like it's giving me a little hard pan already. Hmm. And then I picked up the Essence Pure Nude Highlight and Be My Highlight. I've heard lots of good things about this. It is a baked formula. That's what that looks like on my hand there, if you can pick it up. This is supposed to be kind of a more natural looking highlight, which is what I prefer. I don't like a lot of um, glitter in my highlight. And I'm gonna do this before we do blush, just so that I can layer that blush on top. And, oh, it's a little powdery, a little powdery. But I find if I use a highlight that's a little too intense or glittery, it really emphasizes my texture because I do have, you know, those crow's feet and wrinkles and 
pores and all of that good stuff. This is pretty. Ooh. I'm really liking that. Yeah, I feel like that is a, you know, it's not, it's not at all chunky or glittery, but it's given a really nice glow to the cheeks. I really like that. And I have, um, some of their The Blush blushes. I had a couple already, and then I picked up a, another shade. We'll see. Because I already had Believing and Beloved, which one of them's a little mauve and then this one's a little pinker. And then I picked up Bespoke, which is kind of a nude. I think I'm going to try this one since I haven't, I haven't used it before. I thought it'd be a pretty, you know, just kind of nude color blush for the, for the fall. We'll give this a little swatch. It looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Because the other two are definitely matte, but that's, that's this one. We're going to give it a go. And we can always top it with one of these others if, if it doesn't turn out the way we want. But these are a super pretty blush formula. Mm, that's pretty. I feel like these just kind of smooth out your cheeks or something. You know, almost an airbrushed kind of a finish to them. And they're nicely pigmented. And they're like $2.99. You can't go wrong. I feel like that's giving me a little more bronze than the actual bronzer did. And I always like a little on the a little on the cheeks, a little across the forehead. I love these little blushes. They're just gorgeous. I feel like blush is one of those things you just can't go. I mean, can you mess up a blush? Well, I guess if it didn't have any color to it, but The brow gel feel like feels like it's given kind of a light, more of a light hold as compared to like the one from um, Ulta. I think that's really pretty, but I think I want to layer a little bit of this. Mm. Let's do it. Let's have a little pink. I just love those. I just don't think you can go wrong with these, the blush from Essence. They're just perfect, perfect. And then I do have a lip liner and one of their lipsticks. I've never tried either of these. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner Waterproof. It does have a little sharpener on the end. And it is, you know, retractable pencil. And I picked up the color, I don't know, I can't see it. Does it have a color? It has a color. It's on the cap, it's number two tea time. Let me wipe my lips off, I had a little bit of lip balm on and I usually like to fill in my whole lips with lip liner it just makes my bullet lipstick last a little longer it's a little bit of a deeper mauve -y 
top shade, but I think it's a pretty color. Hopefully it wears well and doesn't feather. And then I picked up one of their semi-matte lipsticks in number 11, Amazing. It's kind of a, this is rosy mauve type colors are really my go-tos. You can tell it's a matte formula. Of course, that lip liner did change the shade of it just a little bit, so I'll... Feels pretty good. I'll give them a little swatch here. So you guys can see that's the the lipstick there and then the lip liner. It is matte but it doesn't feel it's more of a creamy feeling matte. It's not it doesn't feel dry on the lips. And then I picked up their Shine 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 lip gloss. It's supposed to have a plumping effect and this is just the clear in number 18 plump me up. And since I've got a lipstick on, I'm just gonna put this, apply this with my fingers. It's got just standard doe foot applicator. And it does look like it's got some little glitter particles in it. So that way I don't change the shade of it. I'm not really noticing any plumping, but it's not sticky. I feel like it's got a little smell to it. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost a, maybe a little vanilla type scent. I think that'll be pretty, that lip liner and lipstick, it's a little bit deeper. I think that'll be pretty for the fall. I can't say that's the shiniest lip, lip gloss I've ever used. Let's have a little bit more. I've just got stuff everywhere here. And I am starting to feel a little bit of that kind of... That's just the slightest tingle. I mean, just the very just a very very faint kind of tingly feeling that lip liners hanging on there and I am using a makeup wipe of course the lipstick it's a bullet lipstick so it rubbed right off but that I think that bodes well hopefully for its stay in power. But that is our finished look with all the stuff from Essence. And that foundation is just a little bit on the glowy side, so I may I may put a little powder on after I take you guys outside and and we take a look. Um I think I liked everything. Obviously, the mascara, you know, I'm going to have to see how that wears throughout the day. The brow gel, I think I'm, I think I like it, but not quite as good as the, the one that I got from Ulta. I think the one from Ulta gives a little bit more, fills the brows in just a little bit better, and it could just be the color, but it's, um, it's not they're not like crunchy but they feel like they're there and this this highlighter is I mean just look at that gorgeous it's just gorgeous I love this love this probably this might be my favorite thing of the day is this I'm not I'm not keen on this I'm gonna keep using it and I'll, I'll update you guys at some point but 
I really didn't feel like that gave me much in the way of bronzing. But the eyeshadows, gorgeous. Performed well. You can see, I mean, just the, the pigment, the blendability, everything is just gorgeous with those. Love, love, love that. And all the lip products feel nice. The, um, I wish I had gotten an eyeliner, which I do have my nude, um, the one that I use in my waterline, and it hangs on pretty good. Um, but yeah, everything, everything other than this bronzer, I really enjoyed, and I think they all performed quite well. So I'm going to take you guys outside, um, and we'll look at everything in natural light. Hey y'all, this is what everything is looking like out here in natural light. The mascara, I think, done a really great job and that highlighter is just gorgeous. The only thing I think I would, you know, that bronzer I didn't love, but um, I might like a little powder in my T-zone just to help blur my pores a little bit and hopefully this mascara doesn't flake or smudge because I really like the way that it's making my lashes look and the eyeshadows, you know, they perform great just like the other palettes did. So. Um, thanks again for all your sweet comments that y'all been leaving and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.